It is not a movement of parties, but a movement of people. The turnout in the European election is very low. The European Parliament is, like every parliament, um, a composition of uh, chosen representatives elected by the people. In the case of the European Parliament, it's 751 uh, representatives elected by uh, 28 uh, member states, about the people from the 28 member states of the European Union. The European Parliament has uh, two seats, which is quite particular for a parliament, one in Strasbourg uh, in France and one in Brussels, Belgium. Almost everything there is a decision on at, in, in a European policy area there, the European Parliament has control. They, they are deciding what the uh, members are going to have for laws. And everything that you can think of in terms of nationally, locally, it all feeds down. So every issue from welfare to education to immigration, of course. So it's a very uh, good and important institution. The three main roles of the European Parliament are in the first place uh, a legislative role, that means a law-making role, um, because the Parliament next to the European Council uh, votes what laws are going to be made in Europe. Uh, the second role is a budgetary role. The European Parliament controls uh, the annual budget of the European Union, and not only the budget but also the implementation uh, of this budget. And the third role is a controlling role. You could say that the European Parliament is a watchdog, um, checking all the European institutions, asking critical questions to the Commission. The seven groups of the European uh, Parliament for the moment, the biggest one is uh, the European People's Party. You could say this is a composition of the Christian Democrats uh, parties in Europe, the more centre-based uh, parties. Then you have uh, Socialists and Democrats, the second biggest uh, group for the moment in European Parliament. They are more uh, leftist. The third group uh, is ALDE, stands for Alliance of Liberals and Democrats of Europe. Those are the liberals, uh, more uh, on an economical uh, base, more liberal, more rightist. The fourth group um, is a special one. It's uh, called Greens EFA, and EFA stands for European Free Alliance. This is um, basically um, two groups, two small groups going together in one group. The fifth group is the far left group in Europe, GUE, NGL, where you have some communist parties, EFD, which stands for Europe for Freedom and Democracy. This is the Eurosceptical uh, group. Then you also have ECR, European Conservatives and Reformists. And then you have, uh, and that's something special, the non-attached members. These are members who are not in a group for the moment, but uh, we will see probably after the elections of 2014 that out of these um, non-attached uh, members, a new group will arise uh, with far-rightish parties, uh, anti-Islam parties, like uh, the party of Geert Wilders, Front National in France uh, and Vlaams Belang uh, in Belgium. The European Union affects my life personally uh, with the sports. Uh, for example, football, the European Championship or the Champions League. So when I was part of the Soviet Union, so it, actually we couldn't cross the borders, but now we can go everywhere in Europe and that's like for young people. If we're comparing to previous generations, that's like a really big thing for us. I like to travel and uh, if there uh, wasn't yeah. the liberty of movement in the European Union, it would not have been possible for me to, to travel that much. The uh, most useful output of it is peace. To just ease out all these tensions between the national countries. So the candidates for the important um, seat of President of the European Commission um, are for the EPP Jean-Claude Juncker from Luxembourg, uh, for SND Social Democrats Martin Schulz, current uh, President of the European Parliament from Germany, for uh, ALDE, the Liberals, Guy Verhofstadt from Belgium, for the Greens and EFA, there are two smaller parties in one bigger group, so we have two candidates, Ska Keller from Germany and José Bové uh, from France. Um, for the leftist, uh, far leftist uh, group, we have Alexis Tsipras. 
it's very, very, very important to go voting for the European Parliament because it's kind of the only democratic way to really get into the European institutions. Thank you.